everybody. You know what? If you're here, you're probably new to the hobby, you're wondering what the nitrogen cycle is, and you know what? You're in the right place. And you know why? Because if you don't understand what the nitrogen cycle is, your fish are going to die or they're going to be seriously harmed. And you know what? I also want to thank you for being here. Congratulations. You're the people who actually care about their fish. And I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to make sure that they're safe. All right, so let me explain how the nitrogen cycle works. It's a serious thing, but it's seriously easy to understand. Basically what happens is when your fish poop or when plants decay or other organic matter decays or fish food decays, it all produces something called ammonia. This ammonia will show up after about a week if you're just introducing fish foods or things like that. And ammonia can cause fin rot, burning gills, and with too much exposure at too high a level, it can cause death. But the good news is bacteria will start to form in your aquarium and it is going to eat that ammonia. And when it does, it produces something called nitrite. However, we are not out of the woods yet because nitrite is still harmful to your fish. Ultimately, the levels of both of these, ammonia and nitrite, should always be zero. But the good news continues because another bacteria is about to show up. And that bacteria is going to convert the nitrite to nitrate. And now we're out of bacteria heroes. Those guys have been doing a great job on the ammonia and the nitrite, but when it comes to nitrate, the only way you're going to get rid of that is with plants in your aquarium that are going to consume it or with water changes. That's just part of the hobby. Nitrate, while too high, can be harmful to your fish, and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Lower levels are totally tolerable. So this whole thing begins with ammonia, right? Well, how do you get it? I don't think you want to go with the poop option because that means you're putting fish in your aquarium right away. So the other options you have are to put fish food in your aquarium and let that start to decay to kick off the nitrogen cycle. Or you can actually even add a liquid ammonia to your aquarium and that will do it too. Now there is a third option and I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. Well then what? Well, you wait and you test. And here's what you're going to see. You're going to see ammonia turn into nitrite and then into nitrate. Well, where are you gonna see it? You're gonna see it right here on your test. So when you take your test kit and you first start testing your water, you're gonna see some of this green here. And that's good news. After about the first week of either putting ammonia in or fish food, you're gonna see it green and that means your cycle has started. And then what's gonna happen after about a week when beneficial bacteria show up and start to eat that ammonia, you're gonna to start to see nitrites show up and you're gonna get this pink solution here. And then after about another week when bacteria is eating that, you're gonna see nitrates show up and then you know you're at the end of your cycle and it's time to do some water changes. So we've talked all about bacteria this whole time. Well, where do these little guys live? Well, believe it or not, it's not in your water. It's actually in your hardscape and it's in your filtration. How much is there or how much do you need? Well, that really depends on your system and what it requires. It could just be a sponge filter if you don't have a large bio load or if you have a heavier bio load and you wanna make sure you have enough beneficial bacteria to take care of that ammonia and that nitrite, you might wanna consider a canister filter or a hang on the back filter. So in this whole process, where are you likely to run into mistakes? So the first mistake that often is made is you remove media from your filtration or you remove hardscape from your aquarium. And if you do that and you have the original bio load in there, what's gonna happen now is that when those fish are going to the bathroom and that food is decaying and that ammonia is starting to form, you've removed the bacteria that's going to eat it. Another common mistake is adding too many fish for the amount of beneficial bacteria that you have. So again, if you want to add more fish to your aquarium, make sure you have a filtration system set up that can handle that. And another one that can sneak up on you is, let's say you have a fish pass away and you remove it from the aquarium and you add in a much larger fish. Now in a very large aquarium setup, this probably won't have a big effect, but in a smaller setup, this additional bio load could actually make a difference. So in that case, just make sure you're testing your water and looking for any changes. So what's all this talk about instantly cycling your aquarium? 
Well, the truth is, it's actually possible. And the way that this works is you're gonna take media that has beneficial bacteria on it from one filtration system, like a hang on the back or media in your canister filter, and you're gonna move it into the filtration system of your new tank, which immediately puts beneficial bacteria in your tank, bypassing the need to wait for all of it to form. Now in this whole idea of instantly cycling your aquarium, the big mistake that can be made is you don't move enough beneficial bacteria over for what that new aquarium setup is. So in other words, if you're moving a piece of media from a smaller setup to a larger setup, the truth is you might not have enough beneficial bacteria to get that tank up and running and get it safe quickly. So what happens if something goes wrong? Well, grab some Seachem Prime and put that in your tank and what it's gonna do is it's going to detoxify the ammonia or the nitrites. Now, keep in mind that even if you test after this, you might still see green in your test because ammonium, which is what the ammonia turns into when you put prime in, is going to still show up in your test for a day or two. That's okay. So the nitrogen cycle is one of the oldest topics in all of fish keeping, and it sounds complicated, but the good news is once you get it down, you know you can keep your fish safe, and that is what's most important. If you have any questions about this, make sure you put them in the comments below.